Hi, welcome to Danville's Wood Lab. I want to real quick today show you the parts on the Craftsman drill press over here so that you can identify all of them and be able to use this piece of equipment safely here in the shop. So we'll start down at the bottom, the foot of the machine. This is of course the base. It's a very heavy, rigid piece because it's got a hole to support the whole machine. Attached to that base is what we call the column of the drill press. That column is a tube that comes straight up to support the head of the overall machine. A lot of weight behind this machine and the head of the machine, so you've got to have a strong column and a strong base to support the weight of this head. As we look at the column, uh, we have the table attached to it. Now I've got a sub table here made out of wood that's so that students won't drill through the actual table. Um, we raise this up so that we've got a place that we can secure parts on. Uh, but we can rotate this table. Um, generally we want to keep it at 90 degrees to the chuck so that we drill a nice straight hole. But if we need to drill angled holes, we can rotate the table at different angles going either direction. So we have that capability. Uh, there's a rack and pinion system with a handle over here that will raise and lower the table as well as the table stop on the left hand side of the machine. We need to unlock that before we actually raise or lower the table with the table handle. Up here, what's most important, of course, is the chuck on the machine. I want to point out the chuck is where most of the danger in this machine uh, uh, relies. Uh, this can spin upwards of 3000 RPM. And of course, if you get anything caught in that, that's just gonna spin and twist it around and pull you right in the machine. So we wanna be careful of main badges, uh, long hair, loose sleeves or clothing, lots of different things that might get caught up and spin and rotate and get caught into this. Now, here I have the uh, feed handle or the quill handle. Notice there is a quill stop here. So if I loosen that quill stop up, that allows the handle to move up and down so that I can uh, feed through as I'm actually performing the cutting action. Up above, we've got our housing here. This covers up the uh, pulley and belt system that provides the power and the different RPM arrangement. Our motor is in the back. Of course, we've got the uh, pulley uh, locking belt here and the pulley lever here so that we can make those adjustments. Uh, we've got the on off switch. Notice we've got a real small green start button, a real big off switch just in case safety. Notice there's that color coding. Red is a safety uh, feature and the safety color uh, indicates a warning of danger. So, And of course our light over here as you come through. The other thing that you need to be aware of is our stop and our miter here so that we can set that stop. Uh, and be able to move up and down a certain amount So uh, on the quill. So be aware of all of these different parts on this machine so that you know how to operate it safely when you're using it here at Danville High School's Wood Lab.